And now to the extraordinary story of a Wycliffe woman whose family believes is the second oldest person in Ohio. And she recently hit a milestone, turning <laughs> 110 years young. Tonight, Andrew Horansky introduces us to this centenarian and her granddaughter, who talked to us about longevity and what matters most. Hey, Drew. Well, as we learned today, Sarah and Russ, turning 110 for this woman was an achievement on many levels. The fact Lona Collins even made it to a year was a miracle. When she was born, doctors said she was sickly. And every day the train threw ice off of the train in bags for the sick little girl who wasn't going to make it. But she did, beating the odds, getting married in 1926 at 19. Living through world wars and the inventions of both the television and the automobile, which she never drove, becoming a great grandmother, beating cancer twice, giving us advice two years ago that landed her in Cosmo. Don't go crabbing. Her belief that the secret to longevity lied in not complaining. Have a smile a little bit instead of being crabbing. <laughs> it don't get you anything. I'm thankful for everything I got. Her relatives are thankful too. I like to tell people that if everybody had my grandmother for a grandmother, there would be no problems in the world. Everybody would get along. And though she isn't getting around quite like she used to, she's high-fiving with guys 20 years younger, reminding us all that age is really what you make of it. And she really doesn't seem to dwell on that number, Sarah. Her family now believes she is the second oldest person living in Ohio. Incredible, and I love her advice. Don't go crabbing. I'm going to remember that. <laughs> Thanks, Drew. Sure.